is up guys welcome back to another epic build video on awesome kids tv welcome back to another buildcraft gameplay and as you can tell by the title of this video we are going to be building a volcano that's right we are building some sort of tropical island with a volcano in the middle you might be asking why on earth are you doing that well, it's because it's our channel and we share our ideas. That's how it works. Previously on the channel, we have made this rather cool looking laboratory with a personality selector, I guess you can say. And ever since that video, we have taken our building up a notch and uh, decided to build a volcano. So let's stop wasting one minute <laughs> and build this volcanic hotspot. We are going to be using stone, of course, along with lava yet again, because, you know, volcano, lava, the... And we'll be using some acacia trees and jungle trees to make it look like a tropical scene, like a tropical island. And then, of course, we will be using some sand and dead bushes for the beach portion of the tropical island. There we are. Now we shall get building this tropical island, this tropical island in the middle of the ocean. We are going to be building it away from the laboratory we built previously because it'll blow it up like a major like a good old majority of it and we'll make sure that all TNT blocks will get blown up one at a time. <coughs> I, I know we built a volcano in the past, but this is totally different. This is totally freaking different. I flip and swear, guys. I flip and swear. Okay, there we go. There's a very awesome looking nature-esque shape. Kind of lumpy. Kind of wonky, but hey, it works. Now we just blow it up with a redstone torch. <laughs> just like that. And it didn't blow up the lab over there. All right, let's get building. <coughs> we shall start with the middle of the volcanic hot spot. I mean, spa, not spot. <laughs> For the middle of the gray volcanic hot spot, we are going to uh, make like a little um, volca volcano rock uh, to uh, sit on. So we'll make like a little volcano rock to like sit on. There we go. Sorry I'm being less chatty today. I, uh, gone into a little predic predicament after my headache. <laughs> <coughs> but it has cleared out dramatically. It has cleared away dramatically. Uh, which means I'm good. Now let's talk about some crazy crazy shenanigans people have been through if you are subscribed to alex clark for one and for two if you love encanto that oh my gosh you can relate to alex clark a lot we talked about his stories before but this is a story you gotta hear about you gotta listen to this story. When, uh... When Alex Clark was a lot younger, he, uh... 
Kina's family, uh, he never really liked the concept of going outside. He was a IK at the, that's right, he was an indoor kid at the time. He played video games and watched action movies. Not the smartest and logical thing to do in your life. But if it kills you some time, that would be awesome. And do you guys ever get annoyed when your dad tries to like bond with you? Well, that was the same exact thing that happened to our boy Alex Clark. <coughs> He's the male version of Minecraft's uh, Alex, who is a female, of course. Anyway, speaking of being a variant of a gender-specific character, it would have been cool if Alex Clark's dad uh, will come up like they were in an action movie of their own, all, like, dressed up in a... A ski mask and outfit and everything and be like son it's time that you became a man now put on this ski mask we're going to rob the Dairy Queen and Alex Clark would have been like awesome <laughs> <coughs> but no 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 it didn't go like that, unfortunately, and his father wanted to go fishing. Fishing, apparently, for Alex Clark is so freaking boring. You put a worm on a stick, then you sit and do nothing. Ten minutes goes by, you're still doing nothing. It's not a problem, it's freaking fishing. Actually, now that I think about it, I really want to know uh, what it would be like if Hatchimals had a, a villain who wanted to destroy all the happiness and joy in all of Hatchtopia. I wonder what that would be like. What would it be like if Hatchimals had a villain? That's a burning question of the day, guys. That's a burning question of the day. That's a burning. That's a burning question, guys. That's a burning question. Anyway, uh, one morning, Alex Clark's mother uh, woke up and told her husband Al, "You know what would be fun, Al, if we went to garage sales together." Ah! And that Alex was all again the car dad, let's go right now. His, uh, Alex Clark's father finally got him to go out and fish. And Alex Clark thought since the pole he got him, uh, his dad got him was Star Wars themed, the, uh, uh the fish would, uh, uh, pop out of the water and lightsaber battle them. Uh, like, uh, like, like the actual Star Wars movies. If you watch the actual Star Wars movies, like the very first ones, <coughs> and the Force Awake, and the Force Awakens, um, uh, you would know uh, that the only way to settle something is by lightsaber battling your opponent with a lightsaber. You know, those, uh, light protruding sword things that you see in, like, uh, movies and cartoons. Yeah, I saw that on Fanes and Ferb. Star Wars, I think? Yeah, Fanes and Ferb Star Wars. I saw that on the Face of Ferb Star Wars crossover. The the Face of Ferb Star Wars crossover. I saw that on that crossover event. 
And how it came to be is that basically the creator of the show, one of the creators of the show, Dan Povenmire, one of the creators of the show, a voice of Dr. Heinz Doofenshmirtz, uh, drew a picture of a Darth Vader version of Doofenshmirtz called Darfenshmirtz and texted it to the head of the studio uh, with the caption, I smell crossover. <laughs> and there's also that one time where um, uh, Dan Povenmire and his team were, work were uh, working on the Spongebob episode, Sandy, Spongebob, and the Worm, where Spongebob, Sandy, and the residents of Bikini Bottom, including Patrick and Squidward, and Mr. Krabs ha had to deal with a very giant, very big Alaska Alaskan bullworm. Yes, an Alaskan bullworm. And in one scene, Patrick suggests that they take the city that of Bikini Bottom, the city that they live in, and move it somewhere else. And Mr. Squidward Q Tentacles goes, That idea may just be crazy enough to get us all killed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dear Pavimar said that uh, when they were pitching that SpongeBob episode, uh, where Bikini Bottom has to deal with a giant bullworm known as the Alaskan bullworm. <laughs> and over the years that became one of the most iconic episodes from season 2 of the show yeah it came from season 2 of the show so yeah that's what and that's why everyone laughed but in my defense Jay Lender uh, pretty much wrote that line. I know Jay Lender's uh, voiceover line work, script work, for voiceovers anywhere. I know that voiceover anywhere. I know that script work from anywhere. Yeah, that is uh, Jay Lender's uh, script work for voiceover stuff. I am a very, I am very, very parent of a uh, uh, voice acting and voiceover art and stuff like that. That is one of the key things Awesome Kids TV is all about. And just like Brian Hall and and uh, Breezy Voices, I do a lot of voiceovers. For the people who want to see them. Anyway, it is now time to go on ahead and add the freaking lava. That is where the lava bucket comes in. So let's activate that. There we go. Now we got all the lava. There we go. Once we get this uh, whole entire volcano done by the end of the video. Once we get the building process for it done by the end of the video, we will surely become scientific legends or something like that. Or top-notch experimentals. I watched way too much of Monster 500. Anyway... <laughs> The basic idea behind the volcano is that, well, it takes, well, the basic idea behind the build is that it's set in like a tropical island setting, right? Like a tropical island setting? Um, it, and, uh, it is, and the volcano is very active only once a year and every year uh, the fire elementals of the volcano um, 
hang around the volcano like uh, at the crack of dawn like every morning I guess and watch it explode and then go back inside of the volcano <coughs> Yeah, this lava placing sequence is taking way too freaking long, so I decided to add some lava rocks within the lava to make it go faster, apparent apparently. So, hopefully they will work, and surely enough they do. So I'm just going to place all this lava all around here there we go we're using a lot of buckets here we're using a ton of buckets here we're using a ton of buckets here and I know about getting your din <laughs> alright I'm gonna uh, stop doing that southern hexa for a while and focus on the volcano talk there we go Sorry I'm being too quiet again. I'm really focused on the volcano. And if you're focused on a volcano, you're never going to talk a lot. It... What? That is, that is hard. Speaking of being hard... Oh, no, 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 no. If you guys are a big fan of Alex Clark, then you probably knew he had a sister the whole time. Well... If you guys think Alex Clark having a sister was bad or something like that, then you probably weren't prepared for all the chaos she has done to him. Like all the chaos, all the chaotic stuff she has done to him over the years. You probably weren't prepared for that when you watched that video. <laughs> We have, I, I have done some, the AKT crew and I have done a lot of crazy stuff over the years. Over the years, the Awesome Kids TV YouTube channel has been recognized as one of the biggest kids channels in the entire world in kid channel culture history. And ever since its debut back in October 18th, 2015, we have been expanding our freaking horizons and uh, trying new tactics to get everyone to watch our videos more and more often. Yes, more and more often. So... Naturally, we expand our horizons, which is what I am doing right now. Alright, the volcano lava placement is nearly done. Almost done. We just need to get all this lava. There you go. The lava part of the volcano is now officially done. Now we need to build up the volcano wall part of the volcano. <laughs> there we go. This will take forever as well, so we're gonna build as fast as we can. And while we're at it, I suppose we could share a little something uh, about um 
the movie that freaking scared baby James when James of the All and South channel was born when he was a lot younger he watched a movie known as The Dark Crystal The Dark Crystal opens with their narrator telling us that the world Th Thra is dying. Thra is dying because the dark crystal, the purple one, shattered. Yeah, it's dying. The world is dying because the dark crystal, the purple crystal, uh, is has uh, shattered apart. And it is up to Jen. No, not the human Jen, the Gelfling Jen. The Jen from Popular and Moses named after. To figure out how to restore the magic and harmony in his land of Thra. And later on in the movie, uh, he goes to Agora to figure out which crystal is the dark one and in one of the scenes of the film he saw like it's one of these three i'm sure what why you mean it's why you you had never seen the dark crystal what do you mean it's gotta be one of those three never mind n never mind so jen plays it some flute music into the crystal and the right crystal shard for some reason glows wouldn't you do that too if you were in the same situation <coughs> yeah blah 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 Jen yeeted uh, the crystal uh, back into where it belongs and bam Thra is saved Wow, I built quite fast <coughs> All right, everyone, we're almost done with the volcano portion of this build. So that means we have to add more blocks. There you go, the volcano is now officially done. Uh, the first layer is officially done. We can now move on to the... We can now move on to the trees that are surrounding the volcano. go now we will add the sand surrounding the volcano and then we are all done Sorry, I had to kill the creeper. <laughs> well, put some sand around some of the trees. Let me go and get some bone meal. There you go.
There you go, the sand around the volcano is now officially placed. We will now grow all the rest of the trees I worked so hard on planting. That is it for this video. Uh, I am very sorry it is uh, too long for your tastes. Uh, but that's okay. I'll try to make it shorter next time. But uh, yeah, that uh, this is our Volcano f Pure Fire build. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let us know what kind of build you want us to make in the future. Bye-bye!